Hello, 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 Anna. Hello, hello, hello. I'm your host, the Banana. Today on the Manga Podcast, we have co hosts Zachary Blake and Azrael. Um, okay, yeah, sure. Okay, so Azrael, Azrael plays. Thanks for just saying my names. Um, yeah, that's that's that over there is Klesk. He's a hey. Green Force Gaming, yay. Yeah. <clears throat> this week we read Sekai Oni. We did. We read Vagina Eye. Sekai Oni, Vagina Eye and Penis Nose, the manga. Yes, mm. Sekai Oni, a.k.a. known as the most, not really the most, but one of a really fucked up series. Yeah, it's really fucked up. In only it's 39 chapters. Up. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, it, it gets up there. It, mm-hmm. I guess we sh- I, I already feel like spoiling it, so let's just go through the basis. So we can just get to our spoiler section. It's about mm-hmm. um, these I, six psycho, psycho, psychotic mm-hmm. people who see things in reflections, aka known as looking glass syndrome. What they call? Yeah, it. Alice in the uh, looking glass so syndrome. They see if anything reflects. They see like these really. Also, occasionally they just see random hallucinations outside of the reflection. Because fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> logic. Yeah. So sometimes you know it just. So yeah. Um, all of them yeah. have somewhat trouble going through life because, you know, fucking All right, your, your so, explanation's already way too long. I'm just going to read the, the description here. <laughs> and <clears throat> So we're all wrong about our name, name, by the way. Apparently it's Ozma, A-Z-M-A, is abused oh. by her family that, that made her quite unstable to the point where she has been driven to the limit. And now she has the rare syndrome of Alice through the looking glass mm-hmm. that makes her see things that shouldn't be there reflected on mirrors, water, glass, etc., Everything starts when the things she sees start affecting directly the world that everyone else sees, and the barrier between reality and illusion breaks apart, like a mirror falling on the floor. Welcome to the world at the other side of the mirror. Welcome to Wonderland. So yeah, so then they have to fight these, uh... It's Monster of the mm-hmm. Week. Yes. Except yeah, basically. Not real, except then it stops. Like, really. It's like except every night, and then bullshit happens. Also, everybody dies. Also, it's really retarded because they call it Alice in the Mirrorland Syndrome, which is not what that book was called. They call it in my in my translation. They said Alice in the Looking Glass, which is like well, they say that in the one that I I read uh, fucking manga here, but in the one that I read, the first few times they call it Alice in the Looking Glass, and then they call it Alice in Mirrorland, and I guess the author just got lazy or the translator got lazy, one of the two. Alice in the Looking Glass, because that's the sequel. Yeah. Yeah. So. But yeah, so this is, it's a manga, we read it, um, that's as unspoilery as it's going to get. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so we all like yeah. it somehow. Yeah. It's yeah. surprising. Does it's, not it's happen often. Good. No, it doesn't happen often. To be fair, we've been stacked up with some bullshit for a while. We have, actually. We set up our list just to hate each other. Jitsu wa Watashi wa, how the fuck you say that manga's name is on there, because Harrison hates me. Hey man, it's a good series. Shut the fuck up. Hey man, I recommended this, and this was good. So I think my like my record is pretty good. All right, fine. You got some manga karma for the week. I, we'll see how it holds up on your next choice. We'll but see. You chose for Mia. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Uh-huh. We just uh, you we said, hey, do we want to add this? And I was like, whatever. I don't think indifference is adding it anyway. That's basically what I am for all of the choices you guys bring up. It's like, hey, you guys want to add this? I'm like, okay, whatever. And then you guys start blaming the bad shit on me. Honestly, no, there's some stuff, stuff that you do just suggest. Normally, I don't, when I add stuff, I don't ask you guys. I just put it on there. And then I delete it because it's terrible. <laughs> Yo, me arrow, fucking choice. I've deleted some of it. I didn't choose that. That was y'all who chose that one. I didn't choose that shit. That was Zach. That was Zach. And then he was like, what have I done? So, yeah, Sekayoni. Sekayoni, it was... It was good. Really dark. This is a yeah. No, if you're under 18, just don't read it. Yeah, don't. No, don't. If you are squeamish about body parts, gore, it's or child really, molestation, really dark. Yeah, no, it's it deals with a lot of really dark stuff. I guess there can be a trigger warning on it, <laughs> but warning. it's yeah, everything. Trigger, trigger warning. warning. <laughs> Not for pussies. Chapter one. Hello, stepdaughter. Beat the shit out of you. Chapter two. <laughs> it's time to get to fucking. Like at the end of chapter one. Chapter three. Your only friend, a small bird, is dead. 
It was well, that was, that was chapter, chapter one. one. Oh, yeah, yep. The, okay. The, yeah. The, oh yeah, being a bird to death. Yeah, and then he rips the wing off. Yeah, that was wow. Like you know, there's lots of ways to make you hate a, hate characters. They they did it pretty well here. They and the worst part, I, like how they like try to like it's like oh yeah, these characters are actually people, not just pure extensions of like you know Satan himself. But it's like nah. No, the, the problem Satan himself. The problem mm-hmm. is when they try to do that. It was that they wrote these characters. And is such the obvious, like, just complete villain. Yeah. There's no redeem. Like, they made it, it honestly, really basic villain writing. To where you can't show another side of them because it can't exist. Yeah, well, in fairness, in fairness. They, in write, fairness. It, they write it in. He literally just writes, this person is under a lot of stress. Like, you know. They just, well, like, no. Because <laughs> at, the, at the funeral for um, one or two of the members, like, they, they did show that the family is very, very interconnected outside of Ozma. But it's like, like so ridiculous. Like, yes, like, yes, it is ridiculous. But like they show that he, the, the father is like a family man for the rest of his family. The mother's like, "Oh, I love you all," and the kids are like, "We love you, you parents." And then it's just like, "Fuck Ozma." But it's like it's to such a large degree. Yeah, no, it's to fucked up to like where the mom just frequently brandishes a knife against yep. her. No, like They're, I get, I get what you're saying. Yeah, it, it's definitely ridiculous. But like, there is some uh, like. Some method to the madness is what I'm saying. So they uh, tried. They just didn't get there. It's too late. And they, yeah. Like, it, it's it's cards. It's so extreme. Like, the first chapter is just so well, extreme. Like, yeah. It's pretty much, like, I'd say cartoonish. Because, like, it, like you said, it's like, too late. Because like, at like, the beginning, it's super, t- like, cartoonishly evil. It's and then like you try to bring it back with from their... Cinderella if they were horribly abusive and rapey. Well, here's the thing. Here's something similar. In the first episode of um, Game of Thrones, you see Jamie Lannister like push a kid out of a window after fucking his sister. You know what? And that's bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but th- then they spend like three seasons and like several books. Of course, then he's still an asshole, but trying to redeem him, you know. This is like 30 chapters and then those characters are gone. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Also, well, eventually, what they this do is so extreme, and it's it's like this manga doesn't waste time. Is basically like, what we're saying. It's like if Jamie Lannister pushed pushed Brand out of a window, then fucking dive bombed him, Swanton bombed him, and then raped his dog, his dire wolf. Wait, it, isn't Brand a woman? No. 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 Brian. Are you thinking of Brian? There's Brian Sorry, I am. Stark. Okay. <laughs> I don't watch the show, and a lot of the names just sound similar to me. Sorry. Last name Terrace. It's like starts with a T, doesn't it? Who cares? Tarth or something. I don't know. Anyway, I think it's Tarth. Yeah, it's Tarth. Brian Tarth. Um, but yeah. 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 So yeah, it'll been like that, <laughs> and then like twenty, and then like when he got his, instead of like getting his hands ripped off, like time before that entire arc, he just got like eaten by a wolf. Pretty much. So, yeah, this manga doesn't waste time. It is, I think the author knows that it's not going to last for a very long time, and so it's they... It's lasted way too... I don't know, it lasted for a long I wouldn't long. say it's wasted, it's lasted way too... I would say that the author was not expecting it to go for very long, and so the plot develops very quickly. And so now he's kind of, he's, he's looking for ways to make it longer without making it boring, well, I think. Well, the, the plot has developed in like three different ways already. It's not, I don't think it's not only an issue of length that he thought it would be. I think he literally had no clue what he wanted to do besides, past, like, the six days of Monster in the Week. That's like, so that might I think he got to Monster... It goes from, like, psychological horror to, like, shonen. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. I don't know. When I, I think... shonen, I don't really mean shonen at all. But, um... Yeah. It's more like Sinon, actually. Yeah, well, not I Sinon. Mean, I mean, it is Sinon. It is It's sort of. It is the... <laughs> it's like... Is there anything above, actually, technically, under genres is it is under shonen? Mm. Yeah, because yeah. it, no. it gets kind of shonen for a while. Yeah, it, there, gets, it goes from like shonen to like monster of the week to like psychological warfare trauma. trauma, and then it goes. And then like, there's the civil war arc, and now it's just like yeah. full on like not dynasty, I was dynasty war. It's like. Basically, because he didn't know how to end the whole six-day thing, he just brought all of the monsters in at once and said, all right, you guys can deal with this shit, and we'll see what happens. More like he didn't really want it to end. He was like, oh, wait, I've ridden myself in a corner. 
Yeah, yeah I, I only it, gave them a certain amount of time that they had to be there. And the reason I say that, under like, under like you know, other series where it kind of goes crazy, and but it's like, this doesn't feel like it was planned beforehand. Unlike, you know, say like something like... Um, it does feel like he sort of came up with it along the way, but I think he came up with it in segments so that it works well enough when it's written out, but it does feel unplanned. Unlike, yeah, like, unlike, it's... Like, remember we mentioned, like, I mentioned Ryan Nicky, I felt like it was planned before, everything was planned before, and, like, the ending and stuff. I don't think he's, because there's even a character that just show up, like the uh, guy from South America, who hasn't shown up again. Uh, well, I mean, he, he like, might he show up again. There's still time. He was introduced really in a pretty late like, chapter. Oh, I'm going to explain stuff, and then, like, it, it kind of just goes away without well, any explanation for anything and... that was going on. They're starting to run into other corners too, where like they need to they need to figure out what they're gonna do with the life force shit when they don't have anyone to sacrifice anymore. Because they they need to just explain how it's gonna work. Is it literally gonna be just anyone that you saw and had a slight contact with you can now sacrifice to yeah, get the kill, I, I, I or is it gonna cut that. off to absolutely like after you get rid of all of your close ones? Is it done? Well, we didn't explain yeah. that though. We didn't explain any of that. So they. Oh well, we do need to go over that. Um, basically, they fight these monsters they in a world, in the. No. Okay, when they go to the, when they go to sleep, they go to another world. Where and to preface have... all of that, this is based on like okay. Alice in Wonderland, so they're referred okay, to. Okay, also, Alice. also, you, yeah, also you're, you're already wrong. No, no, it's not when they go to sleep. It's yeah. exactly nine p.m. every time. Yeah, but they have to go to. But you have to like remember the other guys. Driving no, they have to be in front of a mirror. Yeah, they you're have to be in front wrong. of a mirror. Okay, in front of a mirror, whatever. At 9 p.m. every night. You know, in the... Also, the it, world is nothing like Alice in Wonderland in any way, shape, or... I'm not or saying it's like the world is... I'm saying they're using Alice in Wonderland as a base for, like, no, um... For, for symbolism. Not Not, really. not, not for not really. Not at all. I'm, I don't know how best to describe it. They're they using have, Alice in Wonderland they're name. Using how about the name. That? They're using the name, but there's no... Unlike, um... What was that series we uh, at least read earlier, um... Pandora Hearts. Yeah. There is nothing that connects this to Alice in Wonderland. They're using concepts there's from a, Alice in Wonderland to use not, as, like, they're symbols. Not, there's they're a bunny. using the concepts. They're there's right. a bunny. So yeah, fuck that's it. it. That's it. They use a bunny. There's the a bunny. fighters are called Alice. There's a Cheshire Devil that sort of acts as a guy and has a big grin. The you world know, devils are a thing. They're literally just using names, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. They're literally the world, just using the names. world devils are in freaking Alice in Wonderland. We're just, like... But whatever, moving on. I mean, you could consider the obstacles that she runs into sort of reminiscent of the world. Fuck it, I don't care. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, basically, every night they have to fight um these creatures called world devils because when they come into our world, they... Wreck shit. World. Yeah. And no one can see them except for the people with this Alice in the so Mirror. Basically, and some... sometimes they, when they see a monster, it'll have to be real and we'll kill them. Which is, you know... and most, However, most of the time it's just like, you know, a hallucination. But um yeah, they go, they have to fight the world... And in these worlds, they can create like anything, but they have to. They have no they have power two powers: them. the uh, manifestation and the uh, materialization. And those both run off of life energy, which is what a person's soul, I guess, is is comprised of. And you can run out of that shit, but it's really really hard to do with materialization. But it can happen almost instantly with manifestation. Also, because when they're in the other world, they're not using their real bodies; they're using a fake body, which is made of completely of life energy, and it's like super strong. Yeah, super it's strong. an avatar. It has exactly and, a thousand hit points. Yes. Exactly a thousand. And every time they use an ability, it takes away from the hit points, but it's like a really small amount, unless they're using like yeah. bullets. Which case unless they're, they're using bullets. manifestation and bullets, yeah. Yeah, it uses so much because you're like shooting a shit ton of bullets. Yeah, the really lowest level of life force that you can use up for materialization is one. So every bullet uses up one because it's a separate entity. And, and so like everything else which uses up a very small amount, which is just yeah. one period. Even uh, anti-fucking uh, whatever it is, tank... Only like, uses up 50. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so... And the limitation on this is to create the stuff. To materialize it, you have to know how it works to yeah, a basic extent. I said that already. But Sorry, like, I didn't... You have to know how it works, and like things that are really simple, like, say, a knife. But, you know, you, you, just under, you understand as a human how a knife works. You understand that. No, I don't think I do, Harrison. Explain. For the audience. Mm. For the well, little... knife works... It's, what, what a knife does is it gouges the eyes out of a man named Klesk who lives in North Carolina. <laughs> That's Fuck what it they does. know. That's what it does. I can say the city too. But I mean, do you know? But do you know the physical reaction that has to go through for it to happen correctly, man? Like, frankly, you don't need to know that. And even with yeah. even with yeah. guns, you don't really have to know. It's it's really really. He just had to. Yeah, you do, for though. him to have a full like 
an understanding on how guns work. It's like he knew what gunpowder was, he knew what a gun was, and he knew what a bullet was. Yeah, it wasn't like how it added, it wasn't like, you know, the NPCs, you know, the slide. It, what I really love, though, what like, I really love is that the girl... Hole and kill person. What I really love is that the girl that couldn't make a gun, the reason that she, like, all she knew about guns was that they go bang and kill people. Yeah. She didn't know about bullets. She didn't. She's not six, actually. She's like a full-grown woman. She looks six, but she's like twenty-one. The blonde girl. Oh, the blonde. Oh, cause she's retarded. Yeah. She's like. Yeah, she's she's real dumb. Let me cling on to you. It's or um when the when the main character makes the gun that has like the bird top on it and fires and it smacks her in the face. It's like I hate guns. I hate guns. Going back to the axe. Yeah. The giant battle axe. <laughs> <laughs> I love that moment. I have no idea why she chose a battle axe out of all the things. They never I guess they said that she had to have brought in like the thing that she was manifesting her oh, powers yeah, she in had the outside the world. In her house, and she just gets. I guess. No, they show her carrying it around. Mm. As they show, like it's like a tiny hatchet. I never saw that. Yeah, they show her walking around with the hatchet. She just mm. carries a hatchet. She but that actually leads into manifestation, which is basically. But it's like the superpowered version of materialization. They don't yeah, really explain so, it well, or they did, and I just didn't really get it. It's kind of so like we, weapon so let's enchanting. E let's explain what the powers exactly are, so I can bring up the question about this here. We just did. We were, well, you didn't explain them at all, though. Because they, they're real. like... The, okay, so you explained materialization, but the We were getting to manifestation. Manifestation is really stupid. It's not it's, that stupid. It's like, okay, it's all stupid, actually, but it's, it's not as stupid as materialization. It's it's the classic sign in. But manifestation is kind of stupid. It's literally the classic sign in of these characters' hate is their chakra. Like. Yes, yeah, like strong emotions let you make. Yeah. Let, when you have something that's real, it lets you, like, power it up. Yeah. <laughs> so but only if you feel super, super strong about that, though. You become Super Saiyan. You're just like, oh, I don't like this sandwich. I really hate this. Ah, Mega X. Now you have a super sandwich. I need this dick inside of me so bad, bad though. Gah, <laughs> Mega Dick. Now let's talk about. Okay, so that's so yeah, materialization. Uh, let me man, it's, it's manifestation. Of, use you superpower your items with your feelings. It just kill you mm -hmm. because it, it can. Like, it uses like a yeah. shit ton of uh, life energy. Because with materialization, you have the buffer before you run out of energy. And, like, it just, if you go down to one, you will, you'll sort of just stop being able to materialize shit. But if you well, use manifestation... Well, so it's, I, every time when you run out, also, because the Alice's are special, they get energy reserves. Like, think of, like, Mega Man when you get the energy tanks. So, basically, energy reserves are people. Anybody yeah. who's, the, and it goes by whoever's closest to you. So, the person you... And you don't have to like them for them yeah, to be close. you don't have to like them, but he has to be really close to you. D but do they have to be really close to you, though? They just we have to don't know. The closest. Yeah, closest, but we once again, we don't know if they have to be really close to you or not. You don't know. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the closest person to you. So normally say it's a family or a best friend, and then it's like, oh, no. They don't just go to everybody else on the planet. <laughs> it's like you pass that hot chick on the street. It's like, wow, she's kind of cute. Oh, she's dead now. Oh well, no, because I mean, unless you talk to her, like, unless you just like have a talk. Unless to you her. then when you you talk to her, establish a small connection, and then immediately go into battle. Yep. Right That's after. The last person I'm thinking of. So you. So this manga doesn't let you do. I'm gonna fight for my friends. It doesn't let you do that. Yeah. No, you can't. <laughs> Don't fight for your friends. Don't oh yeah, don't. there's a rule that um, so that energy reserve tank. Yeah, uh, it's it's pretty much just saved for the whoever gets the kill because yeah, whoever kills kill, one lose you lose all your energy. You lose it all instantly, so you have the reserve tank that dies instead. You also lose, if you get your character avatar killed, you use too many bullets. Uh, if you get your avatar killed, you just die. No, no, the uh, they said the other person dies. No, no, no. If so you use the, the guy that used up too many bullets, his his thing just went down to zero. But because he had a buffer, like the buffer stopped him at one, yeah, yeah. and so he just stopped. But like if you die, because remember the first guy, he died. Yeah, no, no. If die. you die, you straight die. No, no. If your avatar they, dies, they they have explicitly so, said that. Oh, yeah, they how, did. Though, how come the first guy died? His the first guy died. didn't die. His mother first, died. His mother died because he got the kill. 
he he specifically was like, no, I want to get the kill, and walked up and stabbed it in the forehead. All right, so yeah. what about the girl? Which girl? The girl, the girl that didn't died. die. Her friend died. Zanky? Yeah, she shot the thing. Because she got the kill. No, there's only... Was it... She, she got, got the, the second kill. kill. Remember, the lightning bolt was the actual body, and so she shot it as the backup oh, plan. Yeah, you're right. And, and, and then so there's the... like, fuck you, goddammit. And the Puerto Rican guy is like talking about all of his friends, or sorry, Brazilian guy, are talking about like oh, all of the people who dead. had died. <laughs> Actually, that's, you know what? Why don't the Alice's die as reserve tanks? It's like Ozma was clearly closer to any of those people than her actual family. Because they're special, like... Is, they because that's not how the rules work. Yeah, they literally said, like, you're not supposed to have reserve tanks. Normal people don't have reserve tanks. The reserve tanks are just people who aren't Alice's because they need them. That's what, literally what they said. They said... It's not like there's a rule I'm pretty the sure universe. they're just giving them to you. Yeah, this isn't like this isn't a rule of the universe. It's just like we don't want you to die. So they're not gonna give you another Alice because that would be like, hey, you know, pointless, mentally retarded. Mm -hmm. You know, what we should do with our warriors who only people could fight for us. How Kill them. Tanks beat them. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, with it, we're gonna skip real close to the end here for a second. Why? With the weapon, with um, the main character's weapon, so she brings in the whatever hatchet she has and it turns into the giant axe. What the fuck with the giant axe rising from the puddle? Yeah. Like, doesn't she have to be there to create the giant axe since it's her emotions and item? What I took that as was like, okay, maybe she materialized it in that world and pulled it through using a reflection, yeah, that's but that's still imagine. dumb. I mean, but, I mean, honestly, the battle part doesn't matter in this manga. That's not... Now, the battle part's okay. Yeah, but I like... The battle league's actually really cool. I like how it's done. I'm like, the fights are interesting. They are? They're just... They're kind of OP. They are kind of OP. I, I, I don't feel like that's, like... I don't think that's why we should spend, like, most of the We need to talk about the characters. No, well, we need to talk about this fucking art, because it's shitty. The only thing that propels this manga into goodness is the writing, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I think, like, the... Enemy design is all really good. So. Okay, the enemy design is good, but like everything really else is god of, awful. It, really it uh, Shin Megami Tensei. No, I was gonna say uh, Neon Genesis, kind of like the angels. What, bro? Okay. No. Well, actually, yeah, I can see where you're coming from there. The, but the angels, rest of the art is but, okay. But yeah, the angels, like I can see that. But I mean, I really like every one of the enemies. Really, just remind me of either Persona or a devil from Devil Summoner. I can't see that. Like, did you say can or can't? I can. Okay, I was going to say fuck you. <laughs> fuck you like, for not agreeing with him. Especially, Wait, you know what, but you know, uh, do you know the um, Persona Mara? Mara. The, uh, the uh, giant dick riding the chariot? Excuse me? Yeah, that should, that should have been the um, bunny girls. Like, that should have been the devil that they fought for it. Should have, shouldn't it? Okay, we're getting off topic. We're getting off topic. But, but yeah, but, the art. The, the art is really bad. You know, the, I don't give a shit about the art. The, the, at, the art, at first it mattered. Good, at first it, it mattered. Matter. It's not but good, like, but I don't care. So we're moving on. This, the concept and the writing are just so good that like you you look past the art after like a chapter or two. Honestly. Now, the, only problem with, the only real major problem with the art is sometimes it's hard to tell who is who. Yes. And some characters are actually drawn drastically differently. Especially mm -hmm. in terms of detail, which and it kind of like is this supposed to be a different person or is this supposed to be the same person? Yeah, the main character is generic as fuck too. Well, you mean generic looking or generic as in generic like, looking as fuck? Okay. Like the, her character design is generic as fuck. I mean, no special. I mean, none, it, I mean, none of the characters especially... design is that great. I mean, for the yeah. Artists. So I mean, honestly, they're all pretty. Bad looking. The only, the only person is like the soldier. He's the only person who looks, you know. He looks like he's straight out of Claymore for some reason. He looks really weird at times. He's also somebody who's not drawn. There is no consistency in the art style. That's the I mean, basically, the soldier is on drugs. He, he just looks like he's on drugs. You can tell this dude's a meth head. Uh, I think, wasn't he into like morphine or some shit? Yeah. It was some like inhalable drug, I think. I, I don't remember. But yeah, it was. He, yeah, it's like we like we said, the art's not great for most of it. 
the enemy design I think is pretty good. That's like the um, high point as far as art design is. What's, uh, you can art you art can art. tell what's happening the entire manga, <laughs> which is one over like Attack on Titan. See the, it's still better than Attack on Titan. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of manga that we, even we've read that during action sequences you can't tell what the fuck is oh, happening. That's a very uh, yep. problem with this manga. I mean, the downside to to the art being clear though is that there's there's very few particle effects or like um like flourishes or detail. It's particle effects. I couldn't yeah. think of a fucking term. Like th there's little detail, you know? Like you see the characters, you see the enemy and maybe like a line for where the ground meets the sky and that's basically it. There's not any detail really in the fight scenes. That's the point cuz the world is like it's mainly the other world is so foreign. That's kind of the point. I mean that's fair enough, but like you would think there would be like gashes or smoke or like you, well, you know, it's just the little things here and there. No, that's Who knows? Point. You might be... Because you can tell it's different from when they go to, like, the real world. Where it's, like, I didn't like, notice. Of... I know the so, real world has, like, a lot of detail. Like, not that much detail. It has detail that's not, yeah, that, like, the other world. You might be getting what you want with it now with what they're doing for the uh, pretty much Civil War arc. Just taking a giant chunk of the city and moving it into the uh, other world so they can fight there. But yeah. Like, yeah. Like, go like, the later chapters. Look at the background. And look how it was like, how it was drawn. Like, there's actually color. There's like, when people the, move, there's a lot of movement. I mean, I will say that I think shading. the art improves, like, at a certain halfway point and just goes up a lot. I honestly think they might have switched off, uh, artists. It's, the same. It's, it's obviously the same artist. It is so obviously the same artist. Yeah. Everything you just said made me want to kill myself. It is okay. pretty much. It, but, I mean, the artist is also the author. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, I mean, I will. I, I still stand by. I think it improves drastically. Like the, not drastically, but it, it improves it a lot. Really, it, improves that, it improves, but it's not like that oh. drastically. And to put some like reference on this, we we do really like this manga, and this is the first manga that this mangaka has ever done. Oh, and it's really? Still the, yeah, and since it's still running, he hasn't done anything else. So. Yeah. Oh. Also, we should talk about what we like about it instead of just you know random shit. I like how fucked up it is. Yes. The art. I mean, the story is very good, which, like, you know, the entire video is talking about, but whatever. Well, That's the only author I've ever seen draw a vagina in the reflection of a man's glasses. Yeah, the vagina, vagina eye. But, um, <laughs> vagina eye. The story eye. is fucking dark. Really dark. Like, every oh. character's life. Is, you remember? The soldier you, has, like, the best life, it seems. He's in prison, and he has, yeah. like, part of it, I think, part of his brain is missing. Well, actually, Seiki had a pretty great life. She she just became very codependent on oh, the... Yeah, yeah, you know what? Okay, she had a, a, a decent life. Yeah. Except then... Yeah. Except, except her life is going downhill, and everybody else's life is going up. Rapidly. Which, also, like, the other characters' lives are going uphill somehow. Only she the knows that it's better for them. Yeah. Not the flower shop guy. Flower shop guy just keeps getting crap piled on, man. Uh, okay, well, yeah, okay. Everybody like, his is, is... His is going down pretty far. <laughs> I mean, they're all pretty dark, but I think there's some have, like, a different varying degree of dark to it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, main characters is pretty bad. Main yeah. Is bad. But with... Because there's, like, at least everybody else, like, maybe have, like, a happy childhood. Or some yeah. happiness. She's just like... But, I mean... You will never be happy. Never. That one's the worst. Yeah. But with... But when you go through all the rest of them, I guess maybe it's because I've seen that exact kind of, like, trauma written out so many times that the, like, abuse one doesn't hit as hard. The yeah, shit that you don't... Felt, like, it's just so... Well, the problem is, is that I read a lot of Sinan manga, too, and that's so, literally, like, I mean, that's the motivation for, like, half the protagonists in Sinan mm. manga. But the thing is, her reaction to it is kind of a lot... It's kind of a lot... It's Less, like, reactive, honestly. Mm -hmm. There, There is no reaction. She just goes comatose and, like, carries around a it's dead bird. Really, like... I guess it's, the, it's her reaction that really sells it. Well, yeah... yeah. The when she comes was... back and finds out that she's been raped, she just goes, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say there. Like, when... <laughs> it wasn't like, oh, no. It was like, ah, come it's on. Like, well, fuck. Right. Now I gotta clean come the on. semen off my chest. Yeah, well, this happened. God damn it. 
Thank you. I was just going, man. Just when I thought that, I could trust one of these people. That is really annoying. Well, I mean, they say it happened before. <laughs> did it? It did it? I missed that. Oh, yeah, no. Penis. The guy in his... face looks like a giant penis. Like, that, know, that's had to have happened multiple times. They before. really imply that it happened. Well, I mean, with the penis thing, I just assumed that was one of those weird hallucinations because she hadn't had that many yet. Well, I mean, but she instantly knew what he was talking about when she said, when yeah, he said, go to your... Obvious. It was so, like... Well, I mean, it was obvious because it was obvious. I didn't see it as obvious because he had done it before. Yes, that's what it meant. That was, like, I, did you not... Uh... That was glaring, man. But anyway... <laughs> yeah. But the one that like the one that had the most like visceral reaction was the flower shop guy, man. That one where he just like the oh, extra chapter. Man, yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty. And like, the, yeah. And the thing is, he yeah. can have the best because he actually had a support system, unlike everybody else who doesn't seem to have. Yeah, no, he's just crazy. Like, but yeah, but at least he had a support system where it's like, okay, we understand. Like, For... we want we want you. To, he's kind of like, I don't want to be crazy, you know. For a mm -hmm. second. I thought it was going to be, like, him being a huge piece of shit, too. Whereas, yeah. like, right before he went in, where, where I was like, oh, is this going to be, like, a weird, I don't want to fuck you because I was raped thing? Oh. And then just all of a sudden, looking at me, I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah. yeah he, uh, the very beginning, he's kind of an asshole, which I mean... I he know. is. Admittedly, he's, like, a constant douche. Admittedly, what's happening, I can, I guess, you know, it's kind of like, you know, getting took it to another world where we have to fight monsters, you know, that would kind of be bullshit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and you get also, really his his fucking his his weapon of choice is turning into a rose, with swords for thorns. Let's just think about that there for a second. Well, I mean, he owns a well, I mean to be fair, he that I think that was the best way to get out of said, said situation. Yeah. Something is gripping you tightly. You now have thorns on you. I just this. It was such a weird <laughs> image. Like, I can get where it came from, but god, that just looked so, like, ridiculous. And the yeah. manga guy, who's just like... Yeah. Um, like, what's wrong with this? Like, it's like, the whole thing is like, I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Yeah, his name is Utsuo. He, oh, he's depressed because he can't write his own manga, and he's like the new guy at the he, office, like, so that he keeps getting the shitty authors. But every, and compared he's, to every other character, like, he's you know, like, that's not bad. I mean, it's not yeah, good. the thing... His, his life is sad is, and meaningless, so I can understand where he's coming everybody from. Everybody else is like, I've been like, I can't go outside. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing yeah. is, pretty much his thing is almost just he's us. Yeah. He's like, you guys. He, pretty much. No. He's just an otaku. He's yeah, not having, like, he doesn't have that bad of a time yeah. going on right now. Yeah, it's just like, he has a job. He's like, he has a job. He can, like, live by himself. These other characters can't live by themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, is there any other Wait, one? I, I, meant to, I meant to talk about him, the manga guy, before we started. Like, However, I feel like... Does, I do like the sort of, like, fourth wall knocking they do with him. So that yeah. Him. There's, like, a whole, like, three pages where he just talks about, like, manga tropes. But, you know, how, like, in every manga, there's always that one character that's like, this is the author projecting himself into a character. I feel like the manga guy is the author trying to project himself in some way. From back in his days, where he might have been an editor or had some sort of lower job in the manga industry, I don't. Know. Or like as also a the kid, the reason he has like shitty, cause he like he's an asshole. <laughs> he is kind of a dick, but he does his best. No, no, he's just like no matter what, he's just like no fuck you. No, he's not. He's like he's trying to save people and shit. No, nah, he's just kind of like just fuck you. Like, well, no, at first it starts off with him acting like everything's in a, like he's in a manga. Yeah. And then he has the moment where he's like, he tries to save someone, and he's like, oh no, I killed her. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, it's not a manga. And then, like, all the manga tropes just happen. <laughs> yeah, he's like, it's not a manga. Then manga but then, trope. <laughs> but then, literally, not manga trope. Like, this is, without even just the, like, on the nose, him talking about manga references, there were so many manga references in this. Seriously. Like, um, where, uh, fucking... Uh, possessed girl. Oh, yeah, the flashback. Yeah, not the flat. Well, that too. Do you mean sex girl? Well, sex. Well, actually, both. No, there's two different sex characters. girl and possessed girl. Yeah, there's a two who, different characters. Who are you talking about with possessed? Oh, yes. Okay. Seiki. Yeah. When they were beating the living shit out of each other, that was literally just a scene from JoJo. Pretty much. Oh, my God. Like, that was. Except instead of yelling Muda, she was yelling sex. Like. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Honestly, a lot of manga does that. That's not just JoJo, though. Well, that's where that scene came from, though. Sex, 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 sex. It can't, well, it can't, like, there was once it happened in um, Fist of the North Star, but before that, like, nothing really ever brought it up. How does a character come to want sex that badly? They showed it off. They showed her entire backstory, even though... Really yeah, but, like, it doesn't, that's not what happens. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen people like that. It's, but not You've seen people that would rip that off read, dicks and put eyes on them. Not, obviously, they're not also they don't make <laughs> hallucinations every 15 minutes. But I've seen care, you know. Like, here's I the thing about her. No here's the like thing about her. She didn't get it like that because she was in Wonderland. That is just normal her. That is normal her being yeah, fucked up in the has, head. But she also has, like, the, the whole I'm seeing thing constantly. Yeah, I don't I, care. I mean, that, that obviously is. The basis of her character, I have seen in people. It's terrifying. And, and then you add like a pretty big mental stressor onto it. It can get bad, but still, not anywhere near that bad. I mean, obviously, I'm not saying I know people who like ripped the dude's dick off and ate it in front of him. Oh yeah, no. Well, I, I was thinking more of just even the uh, like dude who was groping her on the bus. Or the train, and she was like, yeah, let's take care of this shit right now. I, on, okay, when I saw that, I was not predicting, like, her being horny. I was, tr I, I figured, like, she didn't have any close family members, and she was, like, sick of the harassment. No, so she was trying to sleep with him so he would die after she killed the monster. No, no, no. She, she doesn't get Which would have been so much, like, more interesting. She could have been the s second psycho killer and would have been competing with Ozma. Why would that be interesting? Then that, I feel like that would have been interesting in any way, shape, or form. I don't know. It could have been, like... That sounds really... Just, I, no, that sounds really generic. I, yeah, no, the Black Widow character. I guess it could be... I, think, I, I wouldn't want it around for too long. I'm really yeah, no, like, it's a temporary thing, you but I, I do like, like the sex you, character. I, well, you just, like... No, I like the fact that she, these characters aren't just, like, generic characters. Aren't that generic. Uh, aren't well, some of them are generic. Well, kind the of, sex... I like that they all have, like... Because they're just, oh, I'm a serial killer. It's all, like... Every character is basically, I want to live my own life as a normal person. <laughs> The sex, long. the sex girl delivered one of the most awkward scene, uh, probably the most awkward scene in the entire manga. The scene which, on which will, one? No, 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 no. The one where it's the bunny, oh, just yeah, that, banging that was, an eight year old. Yeah, that was weird. Where she's just kneeling in front uh, of the mirror yeah, naked and having a bunny in her reflection banging her. I wonder if she actually felt that or if she was just imagining it. Just, I don't know. If so, but can only dicks like, come in through the mirror? <laughs> that's how that maybe Apparently that was, axes can come in through the mirror. Yeah, maybe yeah. that was our foreshadowing that phallic weapons can come through mirrors. Well, yeah, um, yeah, that was, uh, I think that was, like, I think that also, I think that was supposed to be, like, the first time she had, like, the hallucinations. No, I thought, I thought she had the hallucinations before that. Oh, I assume, cause I assume that was the first time she had the hallucinations. But, I guess it doesn't no, really yeah. matter too much. No, yeah, she saw the fucked up bunny before when she'd carry around her rabbit toy, but it was never, like, the full, like, suit. It was just a fucked up version of the toy. Okay. And then it eventually became a person who was banging her daily. See, that's so, really interesting. That's way more interesting than whatever Quest just fucking said. You know what? Fuck you. It is more interesting, but I just thought that was another interesting perspective. I don't know. I like... I really like the way they went with it. Yeah, it's... The way I don't know how I feel about the weird like pregnancy thing. That was weird, but it but makes the, sense given her character. The thing is, she's just that. I mean, she she needed some reason to be trying to fight the monster. I have seen care people like that who have been fucked up like that. Not the, have you ever fucked a person like that? But <laughs> I have seen people who are really fucked up like that. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, I mean. So that's why I find this so. Yeah, it, but it also produced which this plays great for an audio podcast. But it produced this scene where it's the um like the reflection in the mirror with the bunny baby and shit like that. That was so weird. It's really weird, but I, I think it's actually a really good scene. Yeah, it is actually. Oh, but can we talk about how like on the same page, there's no detail in okay these. Identical no, no, pictures no, no, of her no, face, the and there's so much detail in one and none in the other. About the art. 
We're There's no consistency. We already said this. We don't need. It's like it was drawn by three different people. No one it only two panels. But the bunny face, though. Basically. That that bunny face, though. Every everything that she sees has to do with bunnies. There he is. And that bunny's mouth because, is a because bunnies. Because, because her. Oh yeah, and I forgot the part about like her parents have like eleven kids or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, like they, and just they keep, keep on popping kids. them out. Also, hey, and then and last but not least, there is a not last. These are two more characters. <laughs> um, we have the codependent girl whose whole thing is just she's really codependent on her friend who then dies. Yep. Who then dies and she latches onto manga guy and he's like, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> nah, yeah. Bro. He's like, nah. Hers? It's like, no one could ever love me, and then she's like, "I love you," and he's like, "I think I might love you too," and it's like, "Wow, that was fast." Yeah, that was uh, kind of annoying. It it was aggressive. Was the thing was that it was for like five or six pages. It was no one would ever love me. <laughs> yeah. No, but no I one. love you for no reason. And then he runs down into the it rain. And she's like, "I love you," and he's like, "I love you too." It just kind well, of it, it I, felt like that was like just like the guy was like, "Fuck, I don't have anything with this character." No, I, I like her part. People not loving him. I was no, really I was... hoping he would just run off and be like, "Look, bitch, we have nothing, nothing in common," and then just walk away. But instead, he's got to do the stupid, sappy teen drama bullshit. Yeah, I liked her part of it because I didn't like her character too much at all before um, the girl died, because she didn't and she has started watching. She wasn't her interesting. She didn't have a character before then. Yeah, yeah, there was nothing about her except that she was kind of stupid. But, I mean, even, like, the setup for it, like, when they talk about how she got that way and, like, how she, you know, got set up for oh, yeah. having that friend with her and all that shit, it boring. Like, yeah. Still nothing but when, there. But when it came into her, like, uh, just latching on to the next closest person with affection, that's what makes like, the character kind of interesting. Yeah, because mm -hmm. cause normally when they do, like, that whole, like, clingy character, it's just, like, one person, and it's just like, oh, okay. But then when it's like, it's just like, her character, she's clingy for anybody. Yeah, literally any attention or help that she can get. Mm-hmm. Because that, no one wants she, anything to do with her. Honestly, you could do so many interesting things with that. Like, that has <laughs> so much to grow from, like, a story or... You, well, I thought was a... Standpoint. Well, I thought was a really, like, missed, um... Not point, but, like, missed opportunity there. Yeah. Was when um, the like mind squid thing was flying person to person, and flew past her, and she was like, like looked at her, and was like, "Well, that was that one's fucking useless," and kept going. <laughs> I feel like that was amazing. Like, I like, loved it. The thing is, she can't do anything by herself. So I mean, yeah. it kind of shows that like without anybody else, she's not. She doesn't have a personality. She's just kind of nothing. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, that's kind of. I feel like that's. It's just like a person whose like whole personality, whole existence is built up on somebody else's. Also, that mm -hmm. could be like the greatest Yandere of all time. That's the main point of going. That's out. every Yandere. No, but like the greatest Yandere. <laughs> no, we already See, established that with fucking um, no, you know Mariah Nikki. Have, you know what? Have nothing because you don't could actually like be like. You know what? I can deal with my. She can live by herself because she can fucking kill. Me. No, she couldn't. She did it before. I mean, she did it before, but not after. Look, she get, she got this going. Honestly, the character who's afraid of looking at can't ba bathe herself because the water scares her. I and, can understand like, that because you like see the hallucinations. Yeah, like yeah. her hallucinations were fucking terrifying. Yeah, I don't even honestly I mean, remember what they most were. Of the hallucinations were like just kind of like some of them was just kind of weird, like the dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dog in the puddle. I There's still a dog like in the puddle. No, I feel like that. It's has a literal to dog. That that the translator did. Yeah, that Ozzy was in the original. Basically, there's a page where the guy's like, "Oh shit, there's a dog in a puddle," and like whoever translated just put like a picture, a photorealistic picture of a dog. No, like, you know, I bet, you, I bet what it. I bet what it was was it was like some like weird mythological demon shit. That doesn't translate well into English at all. So they just would like, fuck it, I don't care, it's a dog. <laughs> that's perfect. I hope that's what happened. That's I probably hope. what happened. Yeah, it was um, really weird. But uh, but hers were like really like nightmare shit. Like, it's like, it was, I remember they were like really weird. Oh, God. Oh, we forgot the most important character. 
the one Good that shows up on. once and says protect Ozma and then disappears. That. What? Wait, what? No, he was there for like every trial. Well, I mean, not once, but you get what I'm saying. Like, he disappeared after saying protect Ozma. And it's like, who the fuck are you? And he never talked about well, himself. I don't even think he said his name. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of the point. He's obviously supposed to be like whatever. I, I'm but I'm throwing down money on that being Boonchan. I'm going to guess that that, that, that that's the mother somehow. But oh, fuck. it feels like something that when, they offered. With the coordinates that they gave, like when she asked, "Where's my mother?" and she got coordinates, was that just literally where they were standing? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I mean, the guy is a is an asshole, so it would have surprised me. I really wish that after giving her the coordinates, the girl had just stared back, like, "What the fuck am I but supposed to do with pulls, this shit?" She pulls out a GPS, like, "Wait a second, I can imagine a oh. GPS." Oh yeah, no. She, like after she gets told like the coordinates for it. The other girl stops her before she wastes the second question on what are coordinates. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, they were so some stupid real about people. the questions. I mean, she is like a nine-year-old or a six-year-old. Who has She's like, like severe seven. With maybe. severe mental trauma. Mm. And also, does it, does it really, uh, fairly get left outside or given money to... Oh, for my favorite scene was after the mother died and the police come up to her to question her and they're like, little girl... You knew this woman, right? She was your stepmother, right? And she's like, I'm so happy. I think I peed myself. And she has this gigantic, like, smile on her face and the kawaii eyes. And she's, like, drooling a little, and there's a puddle on the floor. It's like, what is wrong with you? Yeah. Well, there, there's the one right after the uh, first kill when her stepbrother died, where she just does, like, the, oh, the you know, jump. the air time freeze when yeah. it jumps. And it's like, who's <laughs> next? <laughs> like, I think the quote I'm going to kill them was, all. Like, it's so, like... Out of character for the series, just like it's oh, so God. great. I love those scenes so much. But it also kind of just shows you how fucked up. Like, and just before that, literally the page before she does that, the father and the son, or not that the 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 P one, the father and the son are like holding each other. It's like, what do we do? We're broken. We're broken inside. And then she's like, I'm peeing. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, those were the worst cops ever. They literally just walked up to a little girl who was, like, curled up in a ball on the street. With a dead they, bird. They were like, hey, you live here, right? That was your stepmom. Then she stood up, was like, I'm so happy I peed a little. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled out a bird, a dead bird, out of her pocket. And was like, let's go somewhere, Boonchan. <laughs> and then the like, cops just look at her like, fuck it, it's Japan. Yeah, I gotta admit that would be kind of weird. Kind of? <laughs> I'm so happy I peed. <laughs> also, there's another, in, uh, last but not least character, there's uh, Kraken Steve, a.k.a. known as Kraken Badass Mofo with a tank. A.k.a. the the most useful character in this manga yes. that like, stick ripped off. He's, like, up. legitimately, like, he has, like, the mental problems, but he seems to be like, you know what, I don't even give a shit. Uh, he got his shit straight, he's just on drugs. Yeah. Like, yeah. Even, when he, like even when he's not on them, he's kind of like, eh. Giant it's spiders. Like, yeah, no, when he's... He was just doing that so he could get the meds. I mean, I think I still think I, he saw the spiders. I, was, I think that was, also. I, here's, I think, the, here's the here's the dog puddle. Well, I mean, I think he was probably like not really needing to argue with anyone to get those drugs. Those were that was like his friend doing that. Yeah, he probably was yeah. just having withdrawals, and Might then going, be. "Oh shit!" You know, like I actually feel bugs crawling on my skin. But yeah, I, I'll be. I'll, yeah, I'm pretty sure it, <coughs> he saw. He would see those things. His was actually worse. Like. Out of all like the hallucinations, because it wasn't even like reflection; it's just like there. Was his? I don't even remember actually seeing bugs. I thought it was just him feeling them because drugs. I think he saw them. I thought it, I thought he was seeing them. Yeah, I don't remember seeing any bugs. Yeah, he was I, not actually covered in bugs. He that. That is the biggest, the biggest problem was just not covered completely in bugs. Well, yeah, he's also like a soldier, and he's gay. Yes, is he, he is gay? gay. Yeah, he's gay. Yeah, his okay. uh, the dude that was slipping him the drugs, his army partner, is his lover. Uh, okay. And it also said in his character description yeah, that he. Yeah, his character description says he's gay. So. Okay. Yeah, no, I just never pay attention to it. Don't you remember the part where he's like the girl? Like, the character descriptions are great, by the way. They give such well, good. Well, no, insight. does he? Uh, yeah, 
I don't remember at all. It, it, the it, one from Mika-san said that she like never showed Seiki her friends um, because Seiki would always ask questions and get all antsy. So Mika was like living this double life, and I thought, oh, that's great. Yeah, and that's really interesting. A lot of, like the character descriptions. Yeah, and the character descriptions of the family like made them out as humans. It does have a problem where, like, once again, this show was a really. A, it does some of that show. You're supposed to like, you know, show don't tell. It just like tells you, like, oh yeah, yeah. this person's supposed to have a, you know, supposed to be really stressful from his job, like with a dad. It was like, what does that have to do with the fucking rape? But yeah, like, you know, what does that have like, to do with but, anything? Hey. That goes back to, like, what I was saying with, like, the manga was probably not supposed to go on as long as it did. I don't think it was, like, not supposed to go on. I think he just didn't know what he was doing because this was his first manga. That's why. It could have been a mix of both, honestly. I, well, no, honestly, if, if, it was, if this is his first manga, if it was, like, his seventh or sixth manga, like, say, uh, Ron Kirkman, whatever Kirkman from uh, The Walking Dead, where he's like, oh, I didn't know it was going to get this long, then I would Robert believe Kirkman. that. Yeah, that's him. Because, like, for instance, he killed Shane really early in the comic books because he didn't know he was going to get cause everything he wrote before. Spoilers! Before. That was guy, chapter one of the comic. I didn't know. So? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, shit, I've said stuff that's happened in chapter one of the mangas on here, and you guys have been, like, spoilers. Because we literally have a time mark before we hit the no spoilers cast. That's, like, page three of that comic. Yeah. It's real quick. Anyway. So, yeah, so I don't, I highly doubt he was thinking, oh, yeah, I'm just going to get, I mean, he might have, but I, I don't think that's what, the, I don't think what, that's what it was, because if it was, then he really didn't leave himself a good place to stop. Or, like, I don't know. In any way, shape, or form, like, he thought he was going to be canceled. It's just more like he didn't know exactly how he was going to, like, he didn't know. He's really been winging it. Yeah. yeah, I will, I will say, I feel like he's been winging it, but I also say that he probably, look, I mean, this obviously isn't in, like, a high-quality, high-brow magazine, right? Like, I think it's a safe assumption to say he probably didn't figure it was going to go on for 39 chapters plus. Well, no, because if he did, if he did it, if he did it, if he thought he was going to get canceled, he didn't write it like he think he was going to get canceled. That's yeah, not, he I, never, he not never like he was going to get canceled, out. but I don't think he planned on having it go for a really long time, or even a moderately long time. See, I don't think that at all. Yeah, I... in the very beginning, a lot of it is really a lot of the psychological in each character going out through their life. So it's really slow, and it doesn't even because they really like the it's prologue not really is the prologue, slow. And also, the prologue the cha- is twelve the, chapters. Yeah, the prologue doesn't end until chapter ten officially, and there's two chapter. There's one half chapter, and then there's a chapter that um, it's like chapter zero. Yeah, the so. prologue is ten chapters. So that too. <laughs> Episode one is like when uh, they're going to a funeral. That's that's the first. That's technically the first chapter. Yeah. So, oh my god. It's so this is literally just um, what's that series called? For the Vikings, Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga, except Vinland Saga did it for like eighty chapters. <laughs> eighty chapters of prologue. It was that yeah. It was fifty, I think. 50, 50 or sixty. God damn. But there were like forty-page chapters. Yeah, it was like. When they said in the prologue, I was kind of like, um, I honestly How? stopped reading for a few days. Because <laughs> I was like, this it is was, bullshit. It, it, that manga's <laughs> awesome, though. Oh, uh, we we didn't really talk too much about the design on um, Brazil guy. I like his mirror design. But he shows, yeah. up, cool. one, he shows up in one chapter. Like, no, he shows up in a couple of chapters. Like three or four. Also, his, his existence is hinted at uh, before he shows up. Yeah, but he mentioned other Alice's, but it's like they don't. But I mean, well, yeah, but and he and he calls in the radio show too. Yeah, and he talks so about like all of his family members dying. Oh, all he... my friends are dead. Oh, oh. My dad dead to save the world. Like it was the only person who like actually had perspective of this shit. Well, what? actually, no, because okay. he he needs to learn how to get his shit together in real life. I mean, I get that he's been through a lot of shit, but you don't call on a radio show and complain about your problems on live air in front of millions of people. He's saving the universe. He he like, can do I, what he pleases. No, really, he's like. But yet, oh no, you gotta be quiet with your suffering. You're just saving the planet. Whatever. But like, you know, why would you call a fucking radio station that broadcasts natural nationally yeah, to Brazil? Who are you going to talk to when they're everybody you know and love is dead? I don't know the barista at fucking Starbucks. Not an entire country. Okay, I, so so let's let's think about this for a second. Here, like you just said <laughs> you would go to a coffee shop. And talk. Look your face to a barista. For my personally, instead of phone sex hotline, then your problems. I'm ne- I, 
anonymously on a web on a radio show. Random hooker. This, where it literally has no effect to you personally, except you're getting the shit that you're dealing with off your chest. Anonymously, compared to going to somebody right. who's going to be looking at your face and looking at you and like probably like get out of my face, crazy person, and they're going to call the cops. Fine. Which you know what? Sounds Fucking better to fine. You. I don't know. A, a phone sex hotline. That costs money. Not if you get the hooker to die. I mean, the phone sex operator to die afterwards. I don't think it goes through like. The, yeah, like they, they, they do don't charge you. They don't it's... do it personally. Like, and not, like, they have to go afterwards, like go put like the credit card you put in into their system. Phone sex from a payphone. There we go. In... You're still paying more money. <laughs> not if you run. In the, we anyway, have to pay to turn the pay I, phone. It's not a cheap. It's not a free phone. One yeah. quarter versus so, several dollars. I don't think you hmm. how so I'm yeah, doing. the character design guys. Jesus Christ, you people! <laughs> oh my God! Don't ever shut the fuck up. No, no, no. No, we don't actually. Like the his whole sh like shadow mirror thing, where he has just every time someone dies, R.I.P. shows up on him. Yeah. Yep. That's cool as fuck. Shadow Mirror. Yeah, I don't know why he said it. Well, I mean, it's literally he looks himself looks himself in the mirror and he sees a shadow. Oh, Shadow has... Mirror. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you said Shadow Mirror. I'm like the horse from Skyrim. Oh my god. I'm tired of this. <laughs> I'm done. Ding dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh. um, yeah, he's um, he's from South America. Everybody else on his team actually died. Which was yeah. kind of weird, because nobody else on their team has died at all. Not yet. I mean, they came pretty fucking close. It's hard to die, actually. Yeah, because they have, like... Every, no, everybody else didn't die. I think they quit. Which, apparently, you can just do. Can you do that? That's what they said. They said they, like... Wow! Died. What yeah, cocks! Like, but the same... Yeah, I mean, admittedly, leave quitting is kind of like being a dick. You fucking pussies! The, Jesus. I, I like how he actually left. But, um, <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> he's coming back because he's a pussy. Nah. It's actually... Actually, no one... I, mean, I can actually look at it on this. Ah, he's back. But, yeah. yeah. Shadows. Yeah, says R.I.P. on him. Yeah, we're cool guy. Him. We're done. We already talked about all this. Character. Yeah, we're done. You missed it. But you can leave again. Go fix a fucking sandwich. Also, the world devils are humans, and it's like the humans have to fight the humans who are also have superpowers. Yeah, that's a big plot oh, yeah. development that they didn't explain at all. Well, they don't explain why they can just fly and like summon lightning and shit. He's or like, where they're from, or why they're, they're in these be, gigantic boss suits. Of course, it could just be an, their avatars, and it's like more a more like active like instead of like they don't see themselves like you know how like I'm assuming our like the human character avatar is just like oh this is how I see myself. Whereas they're like, oh, let me create something due to my psyche or my personality. And they make I, their avatars like that. I don't know. I think it's exactly... If, I, I mean, at least for the people who are being teleported in, I think it's literally exactly what you're wearing and doing at the time. Because that, that girl came in with her shirt opened. Like, yeah. mid-sex. Clearly came in mid-sex. Yeah, but it, like the fact that they say they're human, the fact that they said, I am a human... Like, yeah, you know, it, it's probably going to end up being, like, they, they just meant human by, like, two legs and has a brain. Okay, there's some of those creatures that had, like, the, opt the octopus creature. I don't... I, I don't... <laughs> that's I'm just anxious a to see how that thing is going <laughs> to explain this yeah, shit. That's just a persona. <laughs> that's just a persona. Alright, author, you better wing this one good. The fact, that, the fact that how like, disjointed it feels, like the manga kind of feels, and the fact that it works so well together, it's kind yeah. of like... It's a miracle. I don't know I, if it's a miracle or this guy is just that fucking good. So let's let's be real here. We all know what needs to actually happen with this manga. Power Same bombs. art style the entire way through. Power bombs, yes. Azuna drops, all that. Needs to become a harem. Damn you. <laughs> if it does, I would actually just... <laughs> okay, who's gonna, be, who's gonna be the harem, like, hostess... Slash host. Is that a thing? Now? Um, it's gonna be. Now? It's gonna be a harem of um, of please, dudes please don't to go where I think character. you're gonna. God damn it, you asshole! Yep. Nah, it should be the rose character. 
Oh, is this what you're oh the Rose character, yeah. I like Rose him. boy. It's kind of, I can't tell. Is he a pedophile or he's just like a really nice person? Him? I, I think he's just trying to be nice to her. I oh, don't think Dachi. he's trying to fuck her. Yeah, no, okay, you guys remember the weird dude that was that made the egg around Ozma? Yeah, he... Once again, Boonchan, I'm t calling it. I say it's the mother. I mean, obviously it's Boonchan, because, I mean... Could egg. I mean, it's obvious, egg, though. Honestly, it's obviously... How did I miss that? How the fuck did I miss that? It's Boonchan because she's always carrying him when she goes. That makes so much sense. God damn it. Yeah. Boonchan. Boonchow. Also, Chan, I'm pretty sure is masculine. Whatever. And the guy is a mask is obviously a man and not a woman. I mean, like I was expecting him to pull some shit out of his like his back door and just say like, "Oh, hey, she is taking on a male persona to, to disguise itself or what, whatever." No, you know that's not the reason. Because that's not it at all. you know she... that's not it at all. That's like that's how I would wing it, honestly, just to throw people off for no reason. I this is why look, man. Writer. This is why you're not a writer. Get out. I actually am a writer, though. I just don't do things professionally. Okay, wait. <laughs> also, writing I, professionally, like, what, does that, um, what does that mean, exactly? As in, I don't get paid to do the writing I do. So you're not a writer. So you're not. As in, I enter competitions. Oh, so, you're not a so no, no, he's a writer. He's not an author. Yeah. That's why you're a shitty author. How about that? Tell me when you wrote your 1,500-page graphic novel. Oh, uh, fun fact. I wrote a science uh, science fiction short story. <laughs> won a competition. Well, how about you Ooh. write a, an eight-part light novel series about how hard life, high school life is in Japan? Exactly. You'll probably make tons of money. You honestly probably will make a light novel money. And then I'll involve virtual reality and small pixies and make even more money. Oh, man, I was writing a book about... Uh... Civil War about blacks in the Civil War, and I'm just thinking, what if I made that into a harem? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo yes. Soldier, the harem. Hey, I think this is like a really untapped market that I am. <laughs> historical, historical, ac historically accurate of um, harems just all set up from tragedies and yep and if you just sell it to japan you can like put in as many racist stereotypes as you want and it'll just sell more <laughs> make all of your main characters favorite foods watermelon and grape drink and all like the uh, the southern like calvary leaders just be like gigantic rapists yep with mega dongs and uh horses that are secretly penises so this has been a manga podcast. This is um, like when the fucking people on Co-Optional came up with their own video game. It's that bad. Let's. I mean, let's we've been doing that for months. But um, let's make this. Let's do the ratings. I give it like an eight out of ten. Mm, I would Zach? give it. I I'd give it like a seven and a half, maybe an eight. On its good day. I'll give it a seven and a half dicks out of ten dicks. Honestly, if the art was better, and when I say better, I mean the consistent, art. at least. At the very least, consistent. It would to be, yeah. It would get a better, higher rating, even if it wasn't, like, better. But at least if the art was consistent, I'd throw it up to an 8. If the art was consistent, I would give it a plus one glasses vagina. Okay, how about this? If What if the art was consistent, and it was okay, but the monster designs were bad? The, I, I kind of feel um, like the monster designs just that interesting, or that... I like them. Yeah. That's a good question, actually. What would my rating change to? I think it would honestly go down for me. Yeah, it probably I think, would. I think monster designs mean so much more for me than just basic character designs. They really do, because those monsters are just so well done. I just wish everything else was more, because it, it is kind of hard to tell who is who at times. And that Sometimes. is a problem. Eh, I mean, not there. you don't have too many characters, though, and they all a lot of them do look really, really different. Yeah, like sometimes the way like it, I, you can honestly tell them apart just by hairstyle most of the time. The only one who looks uh, like similar was like the two girl. I uh, don't know. Wait, actually, I don't. Even, I can't even think of any characters that look similar. Well, always, Shaky, Ozma, really and similar. the dude honestly all looked about the same at one point or they another. Don't look that similar normally, but sometimes like how inconsistent the drawing can be. Every now and then it can get confusing. Yeah, because he'll, he'll just like start. Not giving any detail, like I'm gonna draw a face and a hair. Yeah, 
<laughs> I was like, okay, dude, you don't have to. Be Adachi crazy. is the worst looking, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. He all he looks he looks like he's constantly disheveled though. So I like. He looks that. like he's what constantly constipated. It's weird. No, he he looks like the kind of person that would sit and talk to a woman that he thought was in a mirror. I like yeah. how he really didn't think she. I like how he knew he, she wasn't real, and it was like his family he was like, "Hey, to talk to the wall woman." Like. Oh, like, honey, was what? the girl in the mirror not good to you today? Maybe like, you should go make up to her. He's like, but he's like, they're not real. Like I feel like. It's kind of interesting because I think that was supposed to be like them trying to help him, but like mm -hmm. just not having any idea of how to help him out. Which it's like, Mom, weird. how many times do I have to tell you my girlfriend's not real? God. <laughs> Only character was like, literally, I don't have a girlfriend. Stop it. <laughs> Stop trying to make things happen, Mom. I do not have a girlfriend. She literally does not exist. It's like he shows up to the prom with a gigantic mirror. I am literally the saddest person in the world. <laughs> Do you understand this? <laughs> I have no one. I ha I'm so sad that I started to learn about flowers so I could talk about flowers with the girl in my mirror. Yeah, that Please hit home. Um, me. That hit home. Oh. That did not hit home for me at all. <laughs> really? no. The entire reason I got into anime back in like. I don't fucking know. Whenever it was, was because I was trying to have things to talk about with this girl that I was in a failing relationship with. So that, I can understand that. You were in a relationship with a girl who watched anime and it was failing? I feel like no. there's an issue there. My, the, the relationship was failing because we were running out of things to talk about and she was totally not into me. But like, I was trying to come up with reasons to talk to her so I started watching anime because she was super into that and I was not. And it just didn't work. You just, did you not go the D? I, d I did not. Did you not show her the initial D? Because she was a D? fine young Catholic girl. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Look, man. Do you not? You could have given her the initial D while you showed her initial D. Also, I lived in Greensboro. I don't think I ever saw a Catholic there. Are you serious? There's like five Catholic churches just down the street from me. We're reading Horamia next week. Chapters 1 through 20. It's Greensboro, Shoujo Church manga. Central of the World. We actually have the most churches Hang in the just, world. Just end the recording. There's 500 churches in this city. No, there's not. There's like, I saw like there are 500.